Today we've got some pretty insane Jordan brand news and apparently Yeezy and Adidas are back together. We'll figure that one out. But of course, first we need to get into a release recap. What happened and did you manage to get any of these sneakers? Let's start off with, I think, the biggest drop. And that was the shock drop of the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. This, I think, only happened out in the US. That's a pretty massive shock drop and very early as well, considering these only officially released on March the 11th. Definitely a pretty big W if you manage to get a pair of these things. You should have them uh, way before most people. Another drop that I unfortunately took an L on is the Bad Bunny Adidas Campus Light. It's another pair that I really wanted to get uh, and unfortunately, like I said, struck out, didn't manage to get them. So let me know if you were successful. Hopefully you were. The release was the Cool Gray 6s. These are still available, so I don't really have to ask you if you took an L or a W. And then this one, I just have to know from you guys, who got the ISBA Mind Body sneaker? Nike definitely knew that these were gonna be a tough sell, especially when they wrote like an entire life story as the description for this pair of sneakers. So way enough of that hopefully you managed to get your w's but let's move into the upcoming stuff because we've got a lot of great news to get into today starting off with the tiffany nike air force one this is just going to be like a little release reminder because these things are right around the corner everybody knows pretty much everything there is to know about this pair of sneakers these are dropping on march the 7th from what i understand these are going to be exclusive to the nike sneakers app i imagine i don't know whether there's going to be a tiffany website release but there's certainly no other retailers in terms of like raffles and stuff like that nevertheless just Wanted to remind you about the release and uh, also keep in mind that these do retail for $400. So uh, you better call up the bank and tell them you're about to spend a bag on a pair of shoes. We just got the first looks at the upcoming Supreme and Nike collaboration with two colorways of the Nike Air Bacon. This is a pair of sneakers that we've discussed in previous episodes. However, now we actually have the images of what these things are going to look like. The first one is this all over white colorway with the yellow laces. I'm not entirely sure if they add a lace swap in there because I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about these yellow laces. Seems a little bit random. Then the other colorway is definitely a lot more spicy. It's got a lot more colors and a lot more going on. It almost looks skyline inspired ombre effect going on, fading from purple all the way to yellow. These colorways are okay. I don't think they're anything insane. They should be dropping spring, summer 2023. Uh, no specific month, but just sometime around then. Nike is still trying to pump out the Terminator, and this time they've kind of modified it into a boot. This is the uh, Nike Terminator High Black Boot. I don't know if that's the official name. Essentially, they've completely replaced the standard leather that you would get on a pair of Terminators and chucked on what looks to be neoprene and a bunch of suede. Either way, we don't have a specific month on when these are going to be dropping just again at some point here in 2023. All right, time for a heavy hitter. This is something that has got people extremely excited. We've known about it for a while, the fact that Nike SB and Jordan brand were going to be doing a Jordan 4. This is the upcoming Jordan 4 Nike SB Pine Green. But as you can see, it takes on that OG military color blocking, same as the military blacks and the military blue. You can see the gray suede wrapping around the toe box, and obviously this pair just comes with the pine green accents. And of course, because it's an SB collaboration, you've got that gum outsole as well. We've also got a very close-up look at the box. You can almost hardly tell that this is the box, but essentially it's all over white, and then you've got the uh, Jumpman logo and the Nike SB branding as well. My understanding, this is going to be the first colorway that drops. I think that there's another pair of fours that they're doing, a kind of black cat colorway. And in terms of a release, we don't exactly know. Again, just at some point here in 2020. Definitely let me know your thoughts on these down in the comment section and is this what you were expecting? All right, this next one really makes it seem like Nike has kind of just lost their minds. It's like they're so wrapped up in Nike Dunk and Nike Dunk Panda hype. What is that, you ask? Well, this is a combination of both a Nike Dunk Low Panda and a Zoom Vimero 5. This is something that I just could never have dreamt about in my wildest imagination. I just never thought that those two sneakers would go together, but apparently Nike found a way to make it work. Now, from these images, is it kind of looks like these leather panels that have been stuck on this pair of shoes are removable. I mean, there's no pictures of it actually being removed, but they do look like they're kind of just loosely Velcroed on this pair of sneakers. They are going to be dropping this year. These are official images. Nike took the dunk and threw it on the Zoom Vimero 5, but trust me, they made sure that they did the inverse as well. So take a look at this. This is a Nike Dunk Low with the Zoom Vimero 5 details. Now this one isn't as bizarre as the last one. As you can see, the base material is now a mesh and you can also see those uh, Zoom Vimero 5 like stripes that go up on the medial and lateral sides of the sneaker. Yes, after showing you these two sneakers, the question is, has uh, Nike completely lost it? Let me know down in the comments. All right, sticking with dunks, we've got official images of this pair right here, the upcoming Nike Dunk Low UNLV Satin. This sneaker is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's literally the Nike Dunk Low UNLV with the gray and the red. However, now it's coming in satin instead of leather. I don't really know anybody who prefers 
rubber satin material over regular leather. And from my understanding, I don't even think that the UNLV dunks are reselling for anything crazy. So in my mind, it's like, would people buy this just to get that colorway? Now again, this is another one of those where we don't have a specific release date for it. These are gonna be dropping this year. And again, we have official images, so I would imagine relatively soon. And another pair of dunks, which is definitely more exciting. This is a pair that I definitely wanna get my hands on. Take a look at this right here. This is the official images of the Nike SB Dunk Low Fly Streetwear. These are looking good, in my opinion. This is definitely a pair of dunks that I would like to get in hand. There's a lot of really cool details and elements about it that switch it up from a regular pair of dunks. Suede looks really nice. You've got the rope laces, which I also like. Uh, they don't have the puffy tongue, but they do have the extra padding around the ankle area, which is nice. If you are after this one as well, you don't actually have to wait too long because these are actually dropping in March, so right around the corner. I've heard rumors of both March the 3rd and March the 10th, so I'm not entirely sure, but as soon as we get some more information, I will update you guys. All right, last week we got the first looks at the upcoming Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro GG colorway, and now we've got some better looks. So take a look at this right here. You've got a nice little close-up of the back of this sneaker here. As you can see, it's a very clean colorway and a very wearable option. Uh, so anybody who is excited for this pair of sneakers, take a good look at these images right here. We've got the number two and the GG embroidery on the back of the heel, and you've also got a signature. Even the insole comes with some special details with the Mamba Sita logo and of course the number two with wings as well, which I think is just a really nice special detail. It's a solid pair of sneakers. Again, these are gonna be dropping May the 1st. Another one from last week, we took a look at the first looks at an upcoming Jordan 1 Tiana Taylor collaboration. This is of course on the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort 2. The colorway is gonna be called a rose from Harlem. Well, now we've got some better detailed images of this pair of shoes. You can really see uh, if you like it or if you don't. I will say from these images, the leather looks actually pretty decent. I mean, I will also state the obvious that this is a very uh, out there collaboration. Like the colors are very, very loud. I think it's relatively well done and interesting. However, I'm not a big fan of those yellow laces, to be honest. <laughs> Nevertheless, we know that these are gonna be dropping at some point here in 2023. Supreme is going to be adding yet another colorway to their Air Force One lineup. Uh, this one right here, this is the Baroque Brown colorway. Pretty much just looks like a darker brown in comparison to the wheat colorway that we already have seen. You also get those rope style laces, so definitely gonna be a solid one for the full time if you do like this colorway and hey, if you like a tiny Supreme logo on the back of the sneaker as well. These are gonna be fittingly dropping holiday 2023, so you can expect them towards the end of the year. Right, this is a pretty interesting one, which I might actually pick up and check out. So take a look at this here. This is the brand new Ultra Boost, which does look very similar to all of the past ones. However, this is the brand new Ultra Boost Lite. Something that was a big downside of most Boost technology was the fact that it was just so heavy. So Adidas decided to make it lighter somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, and I'm not entirely sure how light it actually is in comparison to a regular Ultra Boost. I might actually pick this pair up and see what the differences are because I'm not entirely sure how they achieved this. How did they make Boost technology lighter? I'll definitely pick up a pair, try them out, and let you guys know if it's actually worth uh, taking a look at. If you did want to try it before I get my hands on it, these are going to be dropping on March the 3rd, where they are available right now for early access in a couple select colorways. Another very interesting addition, which I think could be pretty popular, take a look at this. Now, I know it's a pretty blurry image, uh, and this is literally the only image we have, but this is the first looks at the upcoming Soleil Bembry Crocs Pollock Slide. Pretty much from what it looks like, it's got the same pattern as a regular Soleil Bembry Crocs. It's just now in a slide version. I think comfort when it comes to slides is definitely one of the main selling points. Like, doesn't really matter how crazy your slides look. If they are insanely comfortable, people are definitely going to be interested. Again, these are the first looks at what looks to be the first colorway, this kind of beetroot or maroon colorway. These are going to be dropping at some point here in 2023, no specific release date. Right, it is time to talk about one of the biggest rumors that has been circulating the internet for the past week, and that is, of course, Yeezy and Adidas rejoining to release Yeezy sneakers. So essentially, a week ago or something like that, we had the statement from Adidas basically saying that uh, they're screwed and they're gonna be losing tons of money. They have so many Yeezys in their inventory, it's something like half a billion dollars worth of Yeezy sneakers just sat there that they cannot release. That's something that we discussed. We went through different hypothetical options that Adidas had, whether it was destroying all of these sneakers, releasing them without the Yeezy branding, or of course, another option would be to go back to Kanye West and be like, can we strike some kind of deal so we can offload some of these Yeezy sneakers because it's dragging us down? That's really what sparked this rumor of Adidas going to Kanye, offering him a deal and working out a relationship in order to sell all of their Yeezy sneakers that they have in their inventory. Now, obviously, when I initially saw this, I thought it was pretty crazy because Adidas going 
tying back to Kanye, it's not a small thing. And another thing which is pretty interesting about this story is the fact that it almost seems like everybody is saying reportedly like there's no real credible sources, at least that I know of or I can find. They don't actually have any sources from where this came from. I'm not saying that Kanye and Adidas coming back together is not possible. It definitely is possible, especially seeing how bleak things are looking for Adidas at this point. But to make it clear, the story that's going around online is the fact that Adidas approached Kanye West with a deal. Essentially what this alleged deal includes is that Adidas can now sell all of the inventory that they have of their Yeezy products, but they will not be producing any new models. So it's only the stuff that Adidas has in their warehouses that they will be selling. Another thing that I thought which could be very sticky is how Adidas is going to handle retailers. Remember when this all went down, a lot of retailers took it upon themselves to say that they are not going to be selling Yeezys either. So hypothetically, if this rumor is true, how is Adidas going to go about selling all of these Yeezy sneakers? Are they only going to sell it through the Adidas Confirmed app or are they going to be sending it back out to all of those retailers who also cut ties with Yeezy and Kanye West? So whatever happens from here on out, uh, personally, I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt, but who knows? This situation is so crazy that pretty much anything could happen. As you can clearly see, companies are not out here trying to make moral decisions. They are out here trying to make money. That is their bottom line. That is all that they do. But hey, we may just get some Yeezys back on the release calendar. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section. Uh, and of course, I will keep you updated on whatever happens next as soon as we hear some more official information. All right, we've got a brand new colorway on the Ambush Nike Air Force One Low. This one coming in the Chicago color blocking. As of right now, we've seen four different colorways of this sneaker collaboration. We had the blue and the green pair and then upcoming right around the corner, I think on the 28th, we're getting the black and white pairs. Now, potentially we could see more colorways from this collaboration in this Chicago colorway. And this is it right here. This is the only actual image of the pair of shoes that we have. Personally, I'm gonna try and pick up the white pair and see what this sneaker is all about because I think it definitely looks interesting and I personally don't mind this Chicago colorway at all. Either way, we've got no information on a release date, so uh, stay tuned. All right, let's get into this Jordan brand news because they just announced their entire spring lineup. There is some bangers in there, so uh, let's get into it. The first one is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Celtics. They showed this off on the Nike sneakers app. They did a live stream, uh, and this one is going to be dropping on the 15th of April. Another pair of ones is the Washed Heritage, now known as the Black and Smoke Gray. These are gonna be dropping June the 6th. This is actually a pair of ones that I think is one of my most anticipated. I do really like this colorway. This has pretty much all of the same details as that Washed Heritage colorway, however, uh, it's pink. These are gonna be dropping the 22nd of April and will only come in a woman's size run. This one's pretty hilarious. The Air Jordan 1 High Vibrations of Niger. This is something they cleared up on the live stream. They said that this is not called the Vibrations of Niger. It's called the OG Craft. Well, where the hell did the Vibrations of Niger storyline come from? By the way, this pair of ones is gonna be dropping at some point in June. Then we got the Black Elephant Jordan 1 Low. Jordan brand just absolutely milking anything with the elephant print on it. These are gonna be dropping the 23rd of June. Got the Air Jordan 2 Retro Neutral Gray. Uh, these are gonna be dropping on May the 6th. We got to see the Jordan 3 Retro Wizards PE. This is actually called the True Blue and Copper colorway dropping 29th April. Another pair of threes, we got the Lucky Green coming April the 6th in only a woman's size run. We got the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo dropping May. Two pairs of Jordan 11s, we got the Cement Gray colorway dropping April the 1st and then this woman's colorway, the Yellow Snake Skin. The Air Jordan 13 Black Flint is going to be dropping April the 22nd. And then finally, the heavy hitter, the Air Jordan 4 Thunder. These ones are going to be as true to the OGs as possible. Now these are also going to be dropping on May the 4th, but something that I found very interesting when we saw this on the Nike Sneakers live stream, if you take a look at the toe box over here uh, on the midsole, it's black stitching. Now why I say this is pretty interesting because a lot of the early images that we've seen of this pair of sneakers has had the white stitching in that area. So if you take a look at this one right here, as you can see very clearly, that is white stitching. So I don't know whether this is some kind of sample pair that was circulating or if this pair of fours was just straight up fake. Now we can definitely confirm to, I think most people's delight that these will have the black stitching and not that really weird out of place white stitching. Another pair of sneakers that was supposed to release freaking ages ago is finally dropping the Nike Air Force One Mid Off-White Pine Green. These are actually going to be dropping March the 1st. But I haven't loaded up on Nike sneakers or anything. However, there are a few raffles that have loaded up. I know End Clothing uh, and Good Hood are the only two that I've seen pop up recently. However, I would expect these things to load up and a bunch more raffles to pop up as well throughout the week. I don't know if you guys remember a story that we spoke about quite a while ago now. It's about Factory Lab, a footwear company that was founded by a previous Yeezy employee. They've now just announced their first piece of footwear. Take a look 
look at this right here. This is gonna be called the Night Runner. So we've got some detailed looks at the pair of shoes right here. And I gotta say, I think they look pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. I like how the box is also shaped pretty differently. When you look at this pair of shoes, it being all over foam and uh, obviously Omar Bailey, who is the founder and previous Yeezy employee, was working with Adidas and Yeezy at the time when they produced the foam runner. You can imagine that there are some elements of this that are resemblant to a pair of Yeezy foam runners. I gotta say the design is completely different though. Overall, I think it's pretty cool for the first piece of footwear from this company uh, and I definitely want to see more. I would like to try these things out in hand, but uh, who knows? We don't know when these are going to be dropping. We don't know how much for. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's the final story for today. I want to thank you so much for coming through and hanging out with me as per usual. Every single Sunday we do this and if you want to catch up on last week's episode, that video's right there.